Shielding gas for TIG welding is normally going to use 100% argon. There are going to be different combinations of gases used for other materials, but for the most part, most beginner welders are going to use a cylinder of 100% argon. So just like the MIG welding world, you're going to see that this is a very familiar uh, setup for your regulator. It's a two-stage regulator system. The first stage of this regulator is measured in PSI, pounds per square inch. That is how much pressure of the argon is left inside of the cylinder. And of course you have your flow regulator here. This is measured in CFH, cubic feet per hour, meaning to flow. This is how much of the gas is coming out of your torch. And it is also controlled by this flow regulation dial here. Now, when you're first setting up for the day, uh, what you wanna do is you wanna take your primary cylinder valve here, open it all the way up until it hits the peak, okay? As soon as it's all the way up till it hits its peak, that gives you the best seal. But just in case you wanna be safe about things, you wanna be able to shut this down in an emergency situation, just go ahead and give it a quarter or half turn back. Just make sure that's a little bit loose, close to the top, and you're all set. Now, how much CFH should be coming out of your torch while you are TIG welding? Well, that's gonna vary depending on the type of torch you're using, the components, the nozzle, how big your tungsten is, uh, so on and so forth. We'll get more into that later on, but what we wanna focus on right now is somewhere in the lines of 15 to 20 CFH. As we go through the exercises, we are gonna tell you what CFH we are using uh, for each exercise. 